Hello Sagittarius viewers. So I'm going to get right into the reading. Just whatever the cards want to say. Whatever the current storyline is. If this resonates with you, I really appreciate you leaving a comment. Even just leaving a, a heart comment below. It really helps a lot. I'm trying to get back in the, the YouTube algorithm. Get my videos promoted again. Looks like there's been some kind of chaser, chasey type of connection here, a power struggle. I think somebody is becoming aware that it's been a power struggle and they're wanting to come in and make a love offer. Let's see, we have love offer commitment, X, the past. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach. Confusion, uncertainty. Domination, control. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Soulmate, past life connection, soul contract. Fear of commitment. I think that you did something. The energy I'm getting is that you did something to switch it up. You did something to make this person um, afraid of losing you, basically. Something happened recently where they might have seen you with someone or they might just be getting in their head and just, you know, they might just be afraid that if they don't take action now, you might end up dating somebody else. But I'm just getting this energy that something happened to kind of make them want to step up and make some kind of effort here. Toxicity, red flags, truth and clarity, manipulation and deception. Okay. I'm getting third party energy from this. So I feel like and it feels like maybe it's been a bit of a power struggle with this person, but I do feel like somebody is wanting to come around and give you some kind of love offer. It feels like they might also be wanting to present this love offer because somebody's trying to pull them in. I get some kind of third party energy here where it's like they think about messaging you or they think about reaching out. It's like they try to choose their words wisely, planning their approach, but then they end up getting confused. It's like they might write out these messages and then they, they feel like they don't know how to communicate properly, like they don't know what to say to you. It feels like they're kind of being controlled a little bit by somebody too who's trying to pull them back in. Um, I feel like this is somebody who's either either trying to overcome a third party situation, like if, if there's a third party on your end, or if there's some kind of karmic that's trying to pull them back in, because we have soul contract and past life connection, and taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. So it could be somebody here that's like, maybe there's like a karmic that keeps trying to come back in their life and interrupt the connection that you two have. And this person is trying to be strong and put an end to that and stay focused on you. Um, or like I said, could be a, a third party on your end. I feel like there's also this fear too, like they're kind of recognizing that they need to step up before they end up losing you. I do feel for some, for some, it might not be a third party situation. It might be the third party might not necessarily be a person. For some of you, I feel like the third party could actually be a past life issue or like a soul contract or something, maybe, um, karmic issues that you guys are repeating this lifetime, maybe like a karmic pattern, maybe, a, you know, chaser, chasey power struggle. There might be some kind of power struggle here where it's like, you guys, this could be a twin flame connection or a higher level soulmate where it, it's like, you guys just, you're so much alike, but it's like, you guys just can't seem to get on the same page. It's like one person's chasing, one person's running away, vice versa. It's like never, you never seem to be on the same page at the same time. Um, I feel like for some, there's something here that's making somebody afraid of commitment. For some, it's something that happened in a past life. And there's some kind of karmic cycle that's replaying here. For others, I feel like there's some kind of third party situation here. I'm going to look more into it. We have nostalgia and longing. But I feel like with truth and clarity and toxicity and red flags here, and then we have manipulation and deception. I feel like there's some kind of truth coming out about a third party. What is this? The toxicity, red flags, manipulation, deception, truth. What is, what's this truth that's coming out? What's going on here? Nine of wands, page of cups. Six of swords. Somebody sees that you're moving on, that you're starting a new life. 
And I feel like, well, like I said, take it as it resonates. There is some kind of toxic third party here. So this could be you where it's like you're trying to focus on your soulmate or your twin flame or who you want to be with. And this toxic um, ex of yours is kind of feeling that energy and they're wanting to fight for you. Like they see that you're moving on. Six of Swords. It's like they see that you're moving on. They see that you're talking to other people and they want to come crawling back. Um, or like I said, this could also be your person where it's like they're maybe there's been some kind of like black magic or deception, manipulation, just things that have been blocking you two from being together. And I feel like somebody is becoming more aware of it. There's some kind of tower moment here. There's some kind of truth and clarity that's coming out about what's been blocking you guys about some kind of third party situation, whether this is somebody who's physically like causing problems or whether it's like energetic, like through witchcraft, you know, uh, intention, that kind of, that kind of, you know, energy projection and whatnot. But if, if that's the case, I feel like your person is starting to recognize this. They're starting to recognize that this person is trying to separate you two and trying to cause issues between you. Could even be like a family member or a friend that maybe you warned them about this person and they never really believed you. And now they're like, oh, wait a minute. Like I'm hearing the name Sarah. Um, that could be relevant. I'm also hearing the name Just Justine, Justin or Justine. I'm not sure. But, um, but yeah, it, it just feels like... It feels like whatever this is, whether the third party is on your end or theirs, it, it's like the truth is coming out. Somebody is more aware of this. Somebody is aware that this person is manipulative, deceptive. Um, this person, it, it's like somebody is being outsmarted here. I feel like some of your issues with this person, too, they either stem from this past life. And like I said, the third party for some of you could be the... It could be this past life trauma, this past life energy, basically, that's kind of been almost like it, almost like its own energy form in a way where it's it's like this, like these karmic lessons and these cycles that just keep repeating um, and these issues that need to be addressed and, and cleared that keep separating you that might make this person afraid of losing you or afraid of, of commitment, afraid of getting hurt. But whatever it is, yeah, somebody has some kind of clarity here. But it's like somebody's wanting to fight for your connection. Somebody's wanting to, with the Nine of Wands and Page of Cups, it's like somebody sees that you're moving on. They see that you're you're trying to make something else grow. You're trying to, you might be in a new relationship or you're trying to go out and date new people or you're trying to just open yourself up to new soulmates. It's like this person kind of feels that energy and it's like now they want to come give this one last try and fight for this and send you this love message. Could be a, a yeah, we have the King of Wands, two, two of Pentacles, the Devil, Queen of Swords, the Hierophant, Or like I said, it could also be your person's wanting to make this effort for you towards you and somebody feels that it's like somebody wants to pull them back in now that they're coming towards you. Some kind of third party here. Two of Pentacles is like, it's like a juggling energy trying to find a balance. The devil card, toxic patterns, manipulation. Somebody's trying to make somebody uh, confused is the energy I get. Somebody is trying to keep someone in a power struggle or they're trying to keep them confused. They're trying to keep them in, in, a, in the dark so that they don't make a choice either way. Somebody's trying to, they're just trying to, somebody is trying to mentally manipulate somebody here. You know, and like I said, use your intuition, whether this is you being manipulated by this third party on your end or whether this might be your person that's being manipulated or whether it's, you know, scenario three, which is it's not even a person. It's just past life issues and karmic lessons that are kind of repeating and keeping this person stuck because they're refusing to wrap up the karmic cycles. You know, take it how it resonates. But with the energy I get here, though, it's like. Two of Pentacles, it's like juggling, like finding a balance and like maybe like having too much on your plate sometimes. But with the devil here too, that's yeah, old patterns, toxic ways of being. I feel like somebody's trying to make someone else like doubt their intuition. Like they're trying to keep somebody in king or queen of swords energy. 
They're trying to keep someone guarded and and distrusting and unsure of themselves, unsure of the connection. They might be trying to buy themselves time so that they can get closer to to you or to this person, to whoever this is. And they think that maybe they'll there there will be a commitment with them if they can just buy themselves that time. Yeah, they think maybe they'll have a new start if they can buy themselves enough time. Strength. The hermit reversed. Eight of Wands, yeah, like they want to be there to help them pick up the pieces, kind of. Page of Wands. Hmm. Tell me more about this. Actually, tell me about this, this other person that either is trying to come towards you or you're trying to go towards them, but then there's this jealous, toxic third party. Tell me about this person that, you know, the, the one that you guys, act, the, you guys actually want to be together. Yeah, someone wants to put the work in. Patience, perseverance, it's hard work. You know, there's blood here. So it's like, this is like blood, sweat, and tears. It's like somebody's put a lot of energy and effort into this and like they want to fight for this. Yeah, they're seeing the truth. The blindfold is off. Somebody is... I'm getting that somebody is also... How do I explain this energy? Somebody might be on to this third party... But it's like they don't want to tell you because it could be if it's not like an ex of yours, it could be a family member or friend that seems jealous. But maybe this person is just kind of suspicious of them, but they don't want to say anything because they don't want to look. They don't want to make it look like they're just being competitive or trying to isolate you from your friends or family or anything like that. So they're kind of doing some digging behind the scenes um, or like if this is on their end, you know, they might be they might have this person might have slipped up somehow is, is kind of what I'm getting because we're getting a lot of cards about truth being revealed. We had the truth and clarity card. Um, two of swords reversed, I see, because two of swords upright is like somebody being at a stalemate. It's somebody being at like a crossroads, like they don't know what to do next. They have the blindfold on. But reversed, I take it as, you know, someone's not in that stalemate energy anymore. Somebody's, it's like they wanted to keep you and your partner in this power struggle and keep you guys separated and kind of there's like a lot of like illusion and manipulation and confusion, but it's like the blindfold is off and somebody's seen clearly here. They're not at that crossroads or that stalemate anymore. Like they've made that decision that they do want to pursue this, that this is worth pursuing, that they do want to be with you. And I feel like for some, like if the third party is on your person's end, like if this is somebody that's kind of low key been trying to sabotage them or trying to win them back over, I feel like they're spying. I'm kind of getting this like eight of pentacles. It's about... I mean, it's like patience, but it's it's also about, you know, studying knowledge. It's really taking the time and effort to to really study and find, get all the facts, get all the information. And, and, you know, this card comes up like when somebody is going to college to or just just studying anything new. But I feel like this person is um, I'm getting that more that they're studying the third party They're They're kind of they're on to them. Something's clicked. This person slipped up and. You know, there's there's this lack of trust between them and the third party. So they're digging and they're they're kind of going behind the scenes and, and doing some digging to get more information on this third party's motives on the, yeah, the tower card. This third party really wanted to separate you guys. This this might be somebody that they're going to have to cut out of their life, like a friend or family member that they didn't they didn't want to see the truth about this person. But it's almost like they just have no choice at this point. Could be an earth sign as well. Somebody, I'm also taking this to be like, because with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is, I mean, it's somebody who's stable, who's loyal, who's grounded. And it's like they they wanted this woman to be in Nine of Swords energy, to be anxious, to be left in the dark, to be confused, you know, sleepless nights, not not being able to listen to your intuition. It's like they wanted to create some kind of block here. What, give me more details about what this was about king of pentacles yeah because you guys are divine partners queen and king of pentacles and they didn't want this you know it was about the king of pentacles they, they didn't want this coming together the emperor it could be two women or it could be two men just take it as it resonates but i am seeing like with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor card too, there could be one masculine energy here who's represented as the Emperor and one who's represented as the King of Pentacles. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Ace. Yeah, we got all these good cards about him, 
yeah, the like the yeah, we have all these good cards about him wrapping up karmic cycles. So basically, this king or queen of pentacles, your divine match, they've they've had some kind of epiphany, some kind of realization about this third party that was trying to separate you two. Um and it could even be like if the third party is on your end, it could be this person just having this realization that you're dating somebody else and they're like, oh, no, like we're not like they might have found out some some bad shit about this person that you're dating or they found out like they're just there's some kind of energy or something, some kind of truth was revealed. It's divine justice like the divine made that happen. They made some kind of truth be revealed. But We have all these really beautiful cards about the king of pentacles, you know, opening his or her heart up to you, opening their Ace of Cups, you know, wanting this new start in love with you, wanting to wrap up old karmic cycles, you know, ending whatever it ha it's been that's, you know, been keeping you apart. It's like they want to complete those cycles. They want to get on board with you. Show me the Emperor. Yeah, the Emperor is somebody who feels left out in the cold. They feel, they feel, um... This, this, it's really interesting because the emperor typically has more of a masculine energy than any of the other, you know, masculine cards in the deck. But I almost feel like this king of pentacles actually has more of a masculine energy because this is almost like healthy masculinity versus toxic masculinity, at least in this context, the energy I'm feeling off it. it it's like this man just wants to just fight and fight and fight. Whereas this king of pentacles, it's like he's more balanced. He's, he's, he's emotionally more balanced than this emperor is. I feel like this emperor feels, you know, abandoned, anxious, left out in the cold. Um, he or she feels jealous of this connection. Knight of Swords. It's like they want to make promises to you. They want to come back around, but it might be too late. It might be somebody who made these promises in the past to you and they broke those promises. But it's like now they want to move forward with you. They want to make these vows all over again. They're trying to have this peace and stability with you. Um and they're trying to do the same things that worked in the past with you, but you're not really having it. Ten of Wands, yeah, and because you're letting it, they're not expecting it. I feel like this emperor is a little bit smug, too, where I feel like they're not really expecting you to let them go. I feel like this person... I feel like this person kind of played on your romantic idealistic side. So in the past, there's certain things. I feel like they know your love language very well. So there's certain things that in the past just worked for you where it's like they might they could make a promise or they, you know, making some kind of vow to you or they could. I don't know why I'm hearing take you to Disneyland. <laughs> um, but it's like they could they could do they could do something to win you back. If they messed up, they knew the right words to say. They knew the right actions to take to win you back and get you to give them this a second chance. And I think it's almost made them a little bit cocky where they they think that, you know, they, they see it as a little bit of a battle. They're like, okay, it's going to be kind of a struggle to get this person back now, especially if they're, if you're moving on with somebody else. But, um, but they think it's, it's doable. They think it'll be easy enough. You know, they'll just put some effort in and you'll come back around, but you're actually letting go of this. You see this as a burden. You see this as stressful. You see it as one-sided or toxic, or you just see it as somebody, even if you, even if you have love for this emperor, it's kind of like, you just feel like it's not really going anywhere. And I feel like with the seven of cups, it's like you're making other choices. You're in your head about it. There might be some small part of you that wants to go back to this. But at the end of the day, I think that you're going to probably decide that it's best to release this burden. Um, and with the seven of cups, you know, make other choices. Because I feel like even if you have love for this person, I think that your, your divine counterpart I think this is more karmic or it's more, even if it's a higher level soulmate, I think this is like your person though. You know what I mean? Like you got, you've probably had, you know, multiple past lives with both these people, male or female, take it as it resonates. But I feel like this King of Pentacles or this Queen of Pentacles is more your person. Like that's the person that you've chosen to commit to, even if you do have a soft spot for this other person. And this person is really wanting to commit with you. I think, yeah, I think especially getting this clarity about this third party energy is making them want to step up. They're like, oh, no, like we're I'm not letting this emperor or this empress come in between me and my person anymore. I'm not. This person was in a state of confusion about you, about the connection. And now they're they're getting they're seeing what was going on. They're seeing things that maybe you told them all along or they're just they're seeing the third party influence. They're seeing what's been holding them back for this connection and they're, and they're taking the steps to clear this out, to clear this energy out and fight for this. 
and open their heart to you. So it's, it's a really good energy overall. I hope that helps. Um, thank you guys for watching. And like I said, if it resonates, please just leave a heart comment below. Um, I love hearing your stories too. I love, you know, I really like the engagement. I appreciate it. It gets, it gets YouTube to, to promote my videos again. So really means a lot to me. Um, and please subscribe if this resonates as well. And, uh, maybe share on your page if you feel like you you have someone that needs to hear this message. My email is below in the description box. If you want a private reading, the email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. Thanks for watching.